Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Jesus turned water into wine. Jesus even healed the blind. How all the planets are aligned. How all chemicals are designed. Teaching the gospel with a scientific twist. All of his miracles are magnificent. Teaching the gospel with a scientific twist. All of his miracles are magnificent. Oh, gospelology, gospelology. Peekaboo. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Gospelology Show at the Bible Story Lesson Time. I'm Miss Latrice and I'm so glad you joined me today. Before we get started, I just wanted to share with you that if you wanted to follow us on all of our social media sites, you could do that. We're actually on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all under the name of Gospelology. That's right. Now, before Mr. Treese does anything, I have to pray. So are you guys ready to talk to God? That's all prayer is, is just us talking to God. So put your hands together like this, bow your heads, and let's talk. Hello, God, it's me, Miss Latrice, and Lord, I thank you for being here with all of these boys and girls and these parents and Christian educators who love you so much and wanna learn more about you. So as we go through the day, and as we go through this lesson, open up all of our minds so that we may learn new things to understand you even the more. We love you and we promise that we'll talk to you again before the end of the day. In your precious son Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Again, thank you for joining me. Well, I'm so excited today, but I wanna make sure that you have everything that you need for today's lesson, okay? So I want you to grab a pencil or a pen or a crayon, just something that you can write with. And you also are going to need a sheet of paper, all right? So to get us started on our lesson today, I'm going to ask you a few questions. And I want you to do these things for me and then write your answer on your question, okay? On your paper. So close your eyes. Now imagine a world without sight, okay? What would the world be like without sight? What would you miss seeing? What are some things that sight allows us to do? You see, without our eyes, the world as we each know it would seem like a very different place. Yeah, although our eyes are small, they have different parts that work together to allow each of us to see. There are actually seven important parts of the eye. One is called the pupil, another is called the iris, and then another called the scolia, and one called the cornea, and then we have the lens, and then we have the retina, and then we have the optic nerve. Wow, and guess what? They all work together to send a signal to our brain to take a picture, just like a camera, and then bam, the images appear. Isn't that cool? Well, for the next four weeks, we're going to learn about a man who was born blind and Jesus healed him. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. The story actually comes from the book of John in our Bible. That's right, gotta have your Bibles, boys and girls. It comes from the book of John and it's going to be from chapter nine, five, four, nine, because five plus four is nine, okay? There are so many lessons that we can learn from this chapter. But the first lesson that we're going to talk about is how Jesus is the light of the world. Let's read a little piece of our scripture today. Is that okay with you? I want you to go to your Bibles, John chapter nine, and we're gonna read verses one through 12. Are you ready? All right. And Miss Latrice is gonna put her glasses on. Woo wee, cause I need them to see. It starts like this. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It was not because of his parents or his sin, Jesus answered. 
This happened so that the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent us. Mm, the night is coming and then no one can work. But while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva, and spread the mud over the blind man's eyes. <laughs> he told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means sent. So the man went and washed and came back seeing, y'all. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked each other, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said he was, and the others said, No, he just looks like him. But the beggars kept saying, Yes, I am the same one. They asked, Who healed you? What happened? He told them, the man they called Jesus made mud and spread it over my eyes and told me, go wash in the pool of Siloam. And I did. So I went and I washed and now I can see. Where is he now? They asked. I don't know. He replied. Whoa, wasn't that awesome? Jesus took some mud, put it in his hand, spit in it, moved it around, slapped it on the blind man's eyes, and he could see again. Jesus healed him, boys and girls. He not only healed his physical blindness, but he healed his spiritual blindness. I know you're like, Mr. Trees, what in the world is spiritual blindness? <laughs> well, spiritual blindness is a condition that individuals have that they don't understand or they don't see Jesus or they don't see God or they don't understand his message. And even though God is working all around us, pursuing us and showing us his glory, some people cannot perceive his divine works. But after Jesus healed his physical blindness, this man believed. And now through his healing of this one man, others will believe. Isn't that awesome? So that day, Jesus didn't just heal the blind man from his physical blindness, but he healed a whole lot of people and the man from their spiritual blindness, okay? <laughs> because of this, everybody began to see the light, the light of the world. Because you remember when Mr. Latrice asked you to close your eyes? It was dark, wasn't it? But then when you opened them, you could see. Well, that's exactly what happened when Jesus healed the spiritual blindness of these people and the man. You see, some people have to see things to believe them. And guess what? Today in our laboratory, Promac is going to do an experiment that a lot of people have to see it to believe it. She's going to burn iron. Yes, y'all. Some people think that iron is too heavy to burn, but Promac is going to show you that it can happen. But before we hop over to Promax Lab, I want to ask you students a question out there. Are you spiritually blind? Do you know Jesus as your forever friend? If you said yes, Promac would like to pray with you to make Jesus your forever friend. When we accept Jesus as our forever friend, we walk into a personal relationship with God. Yeah, he changes us. He helps us to love more care more. He keeps us encouraged where he gives us hope that we never lose. That's right. He makes the world brighter by giving us the light that we need through our hearts. He heals our spiritual blindness. So if you like to get rid of your spiritual blindness today, it's as easy as ABC. All you have to do is this. A. Admit that you have sinned. And then B. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And then C, choose and confess. Choose Jesus to be your forever friend and confess that he is Lord. If you're ready to do that, we're getting ready to go pray with Promac. Promac, are you ready? Hello, God. It's me, Promac. And I just wanted to share with you these boys and girls who want to make Jesus their forever friend. So today, God, they A, admit that they have sinned. And then they B, believe that your son Jesus died on the cross for our sins. 
and then they see, choose and confess. They choose to Jesus to be their forever friend, and they confess that he is Lord. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us science today and helping us be Jesus' forever friend. We love you, and we promise that we'll talk to you again before the end of the day. In your precious son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, Promac. If you said that prayer, please let Miss Latrice know. I want you to head over to gospelologyclub.com. That's right. And I want you to let us know that you said that prayer. Okay? I want you to contact me. I have a gift just for you to help you to walk this new spiritual life because you're going to need help. And so Promac is here to help you. So let her know. Okay? Are you ready to go into the laboratory with Promac? Well, if you are, let's go.